What's up guys, this is Shonan and today we are in Urbana Ara Damansara. So after the humongous leaf lobby, right? You can actually see the common corridors, the height, it's okay lah, it's like 2.6, 2.8 meters high. And now let's check out the unit itself. So the first thing when we go into the unit, like a standard apartment, you've been greeted by the view. So let's just get through the specs, right? This is a type A show unit itself, but of course it's also for sale. It's 807 square feet, two bedroom, two bathroom. So it's pretty solid. 807 for two room is a very, very spacious layout. And let's, if you can see already, from kitchen to dining to living room, So shout out to Mr. Thomas for actually showing me around this Urbana residence, right? This residence itself has been in the market for around 1-2 years and <clears throat> it's actually gaining a lot of momentum in the market, in terms of rental market though. This is because we chat a little bit and we noticed that surrounding there's a lot of medium cost apartments uh, as well as those that is called Pacific Place, that's the initial development of Arada Mansara High Rise, right? And also <clears throat> the surroundings. And most of them are upgrading into this Urbano as well as those opposite at Nova. So this has become the more executive level type where because of the rental is around 1,008 to 2,000, it's not bad. But as mentioned before in previous episodes, Arada Mansara have, has picked up attention along the way because like Subang is like oh, too many developments, Shopikana is just next door, PJ is just next door. So everyone find that this particular location that's affordable yet quality products. So a few new and you can also see that there's a lot of new developments that are coming up in the market, which is like Rio, Sam Dabi and Ara Tree, which is just next door to this. It's just a stone throw away. And if you look from the drone shots right, there's a lot a lot of land still in Arada Mansara. To me, it's a very good thing because there's development, so there's actually room for appreciation further. Going into the master bedroom, uh, I think it's because of the plaster ceiling, so the ceiling is a bit nothing to complain about, but in comparison to the others, it's a bit low. But then the furnishing, plus because we are in the highest floor, so you can actually enjoy views. Like this. There are a lot of residents that are staying in this development already. And then you see there are still a lot of land nearby. To be in fact next to our block. Next to our block itself is already an empty land, but that has been the controversy so far. So if you're getting a six hundred thousand unit and you're renting around two thousand, so your you need to still cough in around few hundred for your investment so the return rate is around 3.8 to 3.2 <clears throat> means that you still need to cough out around 1% like, because your bank loan is around 4.5 right so but it will appreciate I hope we hope right but the solid points are there because there's a lot of residents that is actually staying as we came up right Suddenly Thomas couldn't be here to suddenly because he needs to entertain a lot of other customers that they are that's bought. So they refer and refer. It means that there's healthy demand in the market. Another thing that we want to talk about is also the
building in our own buildings in uh, Ara Damansara there's a height limit to it and this is only like 16 to 17 floors right opposite would be symphony building symphony house and then this is Dana one commercial area so there's a lot of offices and then and then you can see the LRT station already that's Glamoury LRT station Ara tree is there the empty piece of land here and behind that is all the maintenance for LRTs and MRTs okay so that's the main road for Aradamansara already heading straight to the airport this is uh, Rio it's by San Dabi that is coming up pretty soon so that is Nova that we I mentioned Nova and now this block Urbana is quite hot currently so behind Dana one is the Pacific place that has been a while in the market and behind all those then will be all the medium cost apartments so for those who are actually doing well right they will want to upgrade so now the rate of 2000 per square feet very nice We are now in the facility deck and you can see that the wading pool and the main swimming pool is separated So this is more focused on the kids so you have the kids play as well next to the wading pool with some uh, chairs for parents as well as the gym overlooking Very weirdly the gym is overlooking to the wading pool not the main swimming pool and some child's play and that's this pretty cool thing cool thing number one would actually be this kind of like a bugs for home kind of concept thing which is pretty cool next to the pool there's fence like this overlooking people swimming and that water sound Whoa, that's new and if you can see this is the view <laughs> then there's like canvas for you to actually cover yourself with cool roof structures like this Cool things number three this just now over there opposite would be the solid chair right and this is you're actually sitting in water okay so there's jacuzzi massaging your back cool another cool thing would be these cocoon like structures all together so last time there used to be like one or two la, in a development now it's like a whole bunch of them which is you can actually cocoon around with your friends so next to this development right this is the controversial land that is actually subjected to be the moss because even the roadside right they already put in like it's for Majlis Agama Islam Malaysia Ma'is eh? Ma Majlis Agama Islam slang oh. okay so this land is uh, supposed to be proposed as a moss but then uh, the developer is saying that uh, they're actually appealing because within the proximity there's another mosque already nearby the Ara Damansara so they're appealing whether can it be like a, another set of apartments and things like that so views of these apartments no longer have this view la, right because there's going to be a new apartment soon perhaps I think I don't know last but not least this is the coolest thing in this development and yes, they have a tree house in their development. Okay, and then, so next to this tree house, right, there's still like garden units around, which is like very, very nice. Huh? So this is would be your like we mentioned in the topologies for apartments like garden units you have access to all these kind of trees right? it's just so nice 
However, we have reached the moment where it's now time for Sean Dick 3 on 3. Three things I like number one will actually be the location and the potential of Ara Damansara. I mentioned this many times before. It's located in between PJ and Tropicana and Banda Utama and Subang. So and if you always travel using the Subang airport, it's ideal location for you. The second thing I really like about Urbana is like the development, right? It's a very Standard development, nothing fancy except the facility deck. So the facility deck to me is actually pretty cool. I was very surprised by it given the price point it's being at, right? So around 600 to 700,000 of budget, you can get a pretty cool solid facility deck, especially this tree house. Like. Last of all would be the steady demand for rental. Uh, as it, this is a located opposite an office block, right? then it's actually attracting a lot of people who works there and by knowing from the local agents you can see that uh, a lot of people are migrating into this area at Nova so these two because of the proximity to the LRT so besides proximity to the LRT you got the offices you got to shop lots for food and then there's a Pacific place evolve more next to it everything is within reach so the three things I don't like, number one would actually be the empty lot next to it that is supposed to be a mosque. So problems uh, according to the experience, right? In Regardless whether it's church or temples or mosque, right? It will create certain traffic congestion, especially in this small road coming in from the main road of Aradamansara into the road to PJ. It's like a shortcut kind of thing. Number two, you guys really need to know that this is a leasehold development but the developer has renewed the lease up to 99 years from 2018 March. The third thing would be the surrounding competitors. Lah. So there's a lot of new building coming out like Rio, Ara3 and things like that. So all will compete for the same pool of tenants. So, But this will actually further increase the demand and awareness of Ara Damansara itself. So I think that's all for this review of uh, Urbana So shout out to Mr. Thomas for showing me around If you guys have any appointments at all, do hit him up uh, I'll put his contact link below Time to say goodbye to the tree house Pretty cool Until next time, if you like this video, like it, share it and even subscribe Subscribe for more information like this. This is Sean Tan. Ciao.